going on my friends Thursday August 29th the end of the month big bass splashes right around the corner fall cool down winter and we get to do it all over again how about that it's just that fast we're already done with eight months of the year 2024 just like that anyways it's exciting right now you can tell the kind of energy in my voice we're cool trending the days are shortening um you know yes september can still have some really hot days in it and it will um but we're on the, the opposite side now uh, of the spectrum as far as is is the dog days of summer uh, so welcome back to the studio mike mcfarland here going to catch you guys up on a little report for for what's going on on lake fork public report free public report lake level 40173 basically that is one foot three inches below full pool we got clarity of zero to one depends on where you are and in upper 80s 90s which is actually cooler than normal for this time of year normally we're going to be 89 90 in the mornings and then have the peak be 93 94 by the end of the day we just didn't reach that this year um the late all that flooding all of that march april may the wetness um really kept everything extra green and thick in the woods and everything and i don't know it's more humid but this was a very cool summer it was it, it's, it's past us and i'm excited because here's what's going to happen number one i'll tell you that the fishing on fork has been pretty tough uh, it's the dog days of summer. It's always tough in August, just about anywhere you go. Nighttime fishing was great. The night lights, the green night lights, they still it is still excellent fishing. It's the way to be. Uh, where, where to go right now. Uh, way to be best putting your time on the water. You can catch fish at the crack of dawn. You can catch fish in the last hour. That's your magic hours. First hour, last hour. Some top waters. Um, and big worms. That's all I'm really throwing right now, um, period. And I'll stay with that until this water gets a little cooler. Water does start to hit the cool trend in 80, 84, and, and, and lower 70, you know, upper 70, 78, and things change really fast. Uh, fall feast starts happening. And, and so here's the thing. Over the next four to six weeks, September into October, we'll, we will have some kind of a cold front come through. The lake will kind of want to turn over, and, and that can really mess things up. But as we just start cool training here, these fish know that, that this is coming and they can fire up and, and it can be really, really worthy of coming to Lake Fork in September. I've had some great September fish, in fact, fishing. Uh, in fact, my biggest fish ever, a 15 pound fish, came September 19th, 2016. I mixed the 16 and the 19 up a lot. September 19, 2016, caught a 15 pound fish in four. Uh, but anyways, here's the deal. Like I said, top waters early, first and last. Hit the night lights. Stay with your big worm, whether it's on a Texas rig, a wobblehead, shady head. That's up to you. Um, we come off a moon phase just a little bit ago. Otherwise, I'd be you know telling you the jigs. But hey, jig always catch big fish. And, and here's the thing. Right now, you're gonna really have transitioning fish as we do start cooling. The days are shortening. You can find fish shallow, and you can find fish deep right now. Um, when I say deep, I mean 15 to 18, and when I say shallow, I mean shallow, shallow. You know, the lake has a lot of good cover and vegetation shallow, so make sure you're associating with some, some vegetation, lily pads, grass, something in the water, um, not just shallow on do-nothing banks this time of year, not yet. But anyways, try and help the public out here and give you guys a little bit of report. If you're chasing the bass, that's what I recommend. First hour, last hour, and still go at night. Big Bass Splash is coming, and I'll tell you a little secret if you're fishing for that. Um, those fish will get in the trees a lot, so most of the time the biggest fish are either caught first hour on a top water somewhere, or out of trees, and, and trees with limbs, trees, trees with, um, that's just a, a little tip, so you get some time to start looking. Big Bass Splash is about three weeks away. All right, let's go, though, here now, and that's our bass fishing for you guys. By the way, we do um, a members-only channel where we have about five other guides, and we talk about Lake Lebon, Hubbard. Um, we talk about Palestine, OH, Ivy. We talk about uh, the new lake, Bodark. We give reports for uh, to Wakani, Welsh, Holbrook, uh, a whole lot more information in the members-only channel. So 
So if you want more than just the, the, this public face, you know, public report here, um, check out the link below in the description and click on members only. Come join us. But I do want, I know that I'm trying to develop a broader band of followers. And so I'm giving you some other stuff here in this free public channel. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm stuttering just a little bit today. Here's your crappie report for Lake Fork. Jackie Wiggins says crappie is still continued to be excellent. Seeing some big crappie, white crappie on timber at 18 to 28 feet of water. You have to cover lots of water to find these fish. Um, that's the key, covering lots of water. He's also seen some some single fish on what they call pole timber, which means just single timber, as in no appendages, no arms, no fingers, or anything like that. And then, of course, in some of the trees that does have appendages, he's seen a few multiple fish. So, in other words, some scattered fish, in my opinion, when you relate to crappie like that, they're very similar to bass. And so some crappie, you know, are, are, are going to leave those schools and start migrating up and coming in, or early schools are coming in already, coming to suspending in those trees in shallower water, just like the bass will. Um, so, and that's what he's saying. We still have loads of fish in shallow trees. Um, it, it, it's just... Uh, or moving to the shallow trees. Now that's going to happen here for the fall and, and crappie don't go as near as much. You know what? Here's the thing. I'll tell you, it's, it's a very misnomer and, and, and that's, um, there's a big study that Texas Parks and Wildlife did with bass on Toledo Bend and bass on Fork and they put transmitters on those fish. You should Google it, go check it out and see the results. They're sharing the results now. But they learned that in the fall, a lot of the fish don't go to the banks like we thought they did. And I've always said that. Here's my best tip for you in a public report. The bait, the food, okay? If, if you're a deer hunter, you put corn and you hunt the corn. You don't hunt, you know, the trail two miles where, up the way from where the corn is. You hunt where the food is. So any good fisherman's gonna always find the bait, the food. Food that's being eaten, food in the right place, and the fish are nearby like lions, all right? That's it, all right. So I really appreciate you guys. Hit the like button if you found us good. Comment below. Uh, if you're first time watching this by chance, you know, subscribe to our channel. Remember that there are two other channels, two member channels, private only channels that you can check out. Those links are in the description below. And then uh, again, we're back to doing hopefully two a week. We may only get one in every now and then. But we're back and fresh and September has some open dates in it. Um, I'm giving special discount. If you are interested in fishing with me, holler at me. Private message me, text me, 602-826-1524, call me. Uh, but I'm giving some special discounts for this fall, September, October, and November bookings on. All right? Thanks again. God bless, and I wish you all great fishing.